So in this problem, it's asking one side of a right triangle, so let's draw a right triangle, uh, is known to be 10 centimeter, and that's the side that is exact format uh, for calculus one. We need um, that we need constants and variables. <clears throat> then there, uh, the adjacent angle is measured at pi third, so this is the angle theta, and theta is uh, is being me measured measured at as um, pi third. Uh, with pi third radians uh, with a possible error of pi 15. So the, the absolute error of the measurement of theta is going to be uh, pi over 15. Um, now it's asking use differentials to estimate the absolute and uh, percentage error. So uh, error in computing the length of the hypotenuse. So let's see, this is the hypotenuse, and we want to use the differentials. So what is the formula for differentials? And uh, this was the formula that we used a bunch of times. Um, and so in here, uh, the first thing that I want to do is to basically find that function f so I can take the derivative and, and form the differentials. And then the second thing that I want to do is find that uh, the input value that makes the, uh, the function work. So uh, first thing first, um, how do I find a function? Function has to connect uh, basically h and theta. So let's see if I can do that. Um, in here, what I observe is that uh, 10 over h is equal to cosine of theta. So 10 over h equal to cosine of theta. That means that h is equal to 10 over cosine of theta. That means that h is 10 secant of theta. So I found the function h, h, uh, h of theta equal to 10 secant of theta. Now I have to find, uh, so that's the h, uh, and I have to find h prime. So h prime of theta is going to be 10 uh, derivative of secant theta, which is uh, secant theta and tangent theta. And secant theta, tan theta, basically. And um, so the next step is um, now that I have tan secant theta, tan theta, I have to find a value to plug in. So what do I find for plug in? And that's the measurement of theta that we know, uh, basically, that we did measure. And so theta equal to. Uh, or theta zero or a or however you want to call it theta zero is equal to pi third so those are the information now we can plug in and um, so one thing that you can compute is um, h of theta then h prime of theta h of theta zero i'm sorry h prime of theta zero the two things this is going to be 10 secant of theta, that one is 10 secant of pi, oh, I'm sorry, what is theta 0? Theta 0 is pi third, so secant of pi third, pi third, secant of pi third, Pi third, and this one is just the secant. So now I need to figure out what the secant of pi third is, what the tan of pi third is, and let's go down um, to the uh, to the table for sine and cosine. So. This is the, the ones that we want to memorize. 0, pi 6, pi 4, pi 3rd, 
and pi half. Um, and there is a way of memorization. Uh, it's the square root of 0 over 2, then square root of 1 over 2, then square root of 2 over 2, then square root of 3 over 2, then square root of 4 over 2. And the first one is just 0, the second one is 1 half, the third one is just square root of 2 over 2, square root of 3 over 2 on the fourth, and the last one is just 1. And then you reverse the order and then you start from 1, uh, square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, 1 half, and 0 for cosine of theta. Now, all I need here is this row for pi third right now. Uh, what I need is 1 over cosine of pi third, which is going to be, according to this table, is going to be 1 over 1 half, which is 2, and then uh, sine of pi third over cosine of pi third, which is going to be uh, square root of 3. So now, so secant of theta, secant of pi third, I'm sorry, secant of pi third is, is equal to 2 tan of pi third equal to square root of 3. And let's go back up there and put it on. Over here, this one is, uh, that makes it 20. So this value is 20. And this value is 10 times 2 times square root of 3, which is 20 square root of 3. Okay. Now, I have both h and h prime at pi third. What I need to find is, uh, first of all, is the absolute error, which absolute error is going to be the absolute value, um, is approximated by absolute value of the f, which is equal to um, f prime or h prime at pi third times that to take it. And h prime at pi third is 20 square root of 3. Delta theta is at uh, the absolute value of delta theta is pi 15. And then uh, this cleans up to um, 4 square root of 3 pi over 3. So that's the absolute error. Now I want to find the, uh, uh, basically find the, the relative error. And so how does the relative error work? Relative error So this is absolute the, the absolute error approximates with this And relative error approximates with uh, that value 4 square root of 3 pi over 3 divided by the actual value of the function, which is uh, h of pi over 3, which is 20, divided by 20. And so we clean this up. Oh, what we forgot to do is that centimeter. And over here, again, uh, when we do the division, it's going to be square root of 3 pi over uh, 15. And so when we figure out what it is, it's going to be equal to approximately 0 0.36, which is um, multiplied by 100. This is 30, no, 36 point, 30, 36.6, which is 36.6 percent. Oh, this measurement is not very good. So having a pi 15 error in that measurement uh, is not going to give us a good um, uh, uh, basically approximate uh, it's not going to give us good measurements output measurements so we need to have uh, measure the theta uh, at all better basically